Hey guys, Game Fresh and Creek Outdoors here. Um, today we're going to be doing a lore review video. I haven't done one in a while, especially like a proper one. I haven't really done a good one at all. Um, but anyway, um, so today the lore review is on the Mega Bass Dog X Quick Walker. Um, great lore. I'm going to say that first of all. Um, if you don't want to watch the whole video, I encourage you to so you get all the full details and stuff like that. But before we start going over the lore review itself, I'm going to tell you the specs, um, price point, and stuff like that. Um, so number one, the price point is $25. It is one of the more expensive Mega Bass bases, even more expensive than the uh, um, Vision 110, or the same price point depending on which one you get. So yes, $25. Is it worth the $25? Yes, it is worth the $25. Um, I've caught more fish on, on this bait than I have on any other hard bait that I've ever owned. Um, now we're going to go over the actual specs. Um, this lure weighs 3 eighths of an ounce and is 87.0 millimeters. So I think that's like 3... I think it's like 3 and a half inches, something like that. It's be, It's either... Three and a quarter, three and a half, or three and three quarters. It's it's one of those. Um, I'm guessing it's three and a half. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't know why I can't remember, but I'm gonna say three and a half. Um, and this is the one that I have here is in gill color. Um, I'm gonna have just a specific order on these going out pretty soon. Like I'm just gonna stock up on these because I don't see people carrying these much anymore, and I don't know why. Uh, Tackle Warehouse stopped carrying them for some reason, um, and stuff. Uh, I had to go through like a ton of different websites to be able to purchase this one in the first place, and I even have one on back order still that I don't know when the heck's gonna be here. It's been back order for months now. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna do soon a specific order on these just because they work that well, and I just want a bunch of them, and especially if people aren't carrying them. Uh, and I, there's only like one person left carrying them. I need to, I need to get some. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, this is it's the two that this is the 2013 model, uh, which is the newest one. They upgraded from the speed slide. It was the speed slide. They still make the speed slide, but this is the new version, the uh, Quick Walker. Um, now on to the actual lore review itself. Um, Number one, it comes with those out barb hooks, those Mega Bass Kiwashabi out barb hooks. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that these hooks, I've read reviews and stuff like that, that these hooks don't exactly help. You can see the out barb there and they're bent. These hooks help a lot. I've hooked fish that I shouldn't have hooked. You know what I'm saying? Where I've got the fish up and I say, how the heck did I hook him? Or I've had fish just come up and, and inhale it. And I've seen the lure go out of the water and then all of a sudden like hook onto the hook onto the fish. Like it slings out of the water and then it just grabs him. It, 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 th those out bar hooks are a huge help. So those come stock on this, or stock or manufactured with these hooks. Um, so I, it's kind of like... The Vision 110 of top waters, if you want to say that, because the Vision 110s come on, come with these hooks on, as well as I think the S cranks do. So they, they have like a model that they come with in each in each line, cranks, jerk baits, top waters, and what I've seen. Um, this walks the dog like no other bait. I've used gunfish, I've used Sammies, I've used the jackal mudfish, I've used the jackal, uh, hold on, the bow stick, that's it, I've used the jackal bow stick, um, and I've used even the Mega Bass Giant Dog X's, I've used the Mega Bass X-Pods, both sizes, and this walks the dog better than any of them, simply. Even the gunfish and the Sammy, this walks the dog better. I can manhandle this thing and do it, and make it do exactly what I want it to do. Exactly what I want it to do. It shines. 
with its, like in its name, Quick Walker. I can make this thing go side to side so quick, and it's unbelievable. Stuff I can't do with a bigger bait, and this thing can just scoot across the surface. Um, I can do long, wide sweeps. Now, I have to, I can't just twitch the rod. I have to twitch, pause, twitch, pause. Sometimes I can do the longer things, and it, and it does wider turns. Um, and also, if you pause this bait, stop and pause it and twitch it real hard, it actually jumps out of the water, like it'll skip out of the water and land back in. And if you let it pause and keep going, fish go crazy over that. When they see the lure jump out of the water and then land back in, that drives them crazy. I've, I've had fish hit it while it was out of the water and try to get it. So, uh, you can walk the dog many, many different ways with this. Um, as you can see, it has a very unique head design. It has the, the gill plates, if you want to call them, kind of stick out. And you can see there's like a little funnel, a channel, that goes through the lip and in between these in between these two gills. If you can see how they're out jutted like that. And there's like a little channel in between those two. And they just come right through the nose and come right through that channel and continue on. Um... The line ties positioned perfectly, as you can see right under the nose here. But if you can still see, there's that channel that runs down, and that funnels the water, and it makes it wool great. Uh, it's not just a regular, you know, skinny, just a pencil. This this has improved walking uh, uh, features, I guess you could call it. Um, and as you can see, this is in a gill color. Um, the uh, the back ordered one is an albino python. Uh, this has become probably the white python, and this has become my favorite color. Um, uh, anything with an orange belly in the lakeside fish shine, or the white, just because white is a good top water color. But they love the orange belly on this. <clears throat> uh, that's a, this has a great orange belly. I mean, just fantastic. I I, I love that. It, it uh, the tail's curved up and it kind of flattens out. Um, so that probably helps funnel water as well. And I'm, I don't know if you'll be able to see. The paint job is held up great through probably 150, maybe more fish. Um, it does have hook burns. It, because it's caught so many, um, there is... Yeah, it's... I don't want to say beat up, but it, it definitely has your regular wear and tear. But I've seen this on other lure companies after... 20 fish, you know what I'm saying? This is probably after 150, somewhere in between there. Fish, that's a lot of fish, alright? That, that's simply a lot of fish. So, I'm going to try to get up close. You can just see that this thing has caught fish. You can see right there where they've come up and grabbed it from behind. Let me get the hook out of the way. You can see there. Uh, you can see on the stomach there. I can get it to zoom in. Right there. Just see it on the belly there. Um, you can see some more on the back the whole way up. Come on, focus. Alright, you can see. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Um, there's some more on the stomach right here. It's really hard to see. It's easy for me to see. And then the sides are just, yeah, there's little scratches that you probably can't see. Really. You can see it all up and along here. So you can see I have caught a lot of fish on this lure. The paint job is holding up excellent. I probably couldn't be happier for the amount of fish I've caught on it for how good this paint job is. Um, but anyway, I'm getting to nine minutes here. Just going to tell you what I think of it. This lure is the bomb. Alright, I have caught fish in places that I shouldn't have with high pressure lakes where people are fishing constantly and I just go because I'm bored and I've thrown this lure around and I've, I just pull fish after fish at the right time where, you know, I, I would be surprised that they would commit to something like this, but it, it's small, it's compact, it's three and a half inches, you know, I'll just show you for a comparison of a bait that you guys probably do know about.
So here's the Gunfish 115, alright. This is the Gunfish 115, and this is the Quick Walker. See the size difference? It's it's a very, very small, compact walk, the dog bait. I'll show you one more comparison for you, the Mega Bass people that have fished Mega Bass and know what a... One of the more common, I'll show you a common. Alright. So this is a Pop Max. So it's basically the same length as a Pop Max. But it's skinny, it's a much smaller profile than the Pop Max, as you can tell. So it, it's a whole different ball game. It's a small walk to dog rate. It's very small. Um, which I like a lot. Um, Hucks a mile. I have 30 pound braid on here. Uh, this hasn't come off my rod in a long, long time. Uh, fish it on 30 pound braid. I have, I primarily, I, I would recommend a six foot six medium for this, um, which I use my six foot six medium Ducket Micro Magic Pro, and I have a Shimano Chronark CI4 Plus six four to one gear ratio on there. And this setup can launch this little 3 8 ounce lure way out there like you want with the walk the dog bait. Um, but anyway, to finalize this, I give this lure, this lure as many stars as I possibly could. But out of a 5 star rating, I give it a 5. I love it. It catches fish. It is the best walk the dog bait out on the market. Period. So, anyway, thank you for watching. This is my Mega Bass Dog X Quick Walker. I'm um, in the gill color uh, video, uh, review video. Um, so, yeah, thank you.